Hey y'all, it's Smriti. Welcome to your Unwind and Open. Today we've got a restorative class to help you release stress and tension from your muscles, joints, fascia, and mind, improve your circulation and blood flow, and give your immune system a boost. You'll finish our time here together feeling more open, rebalanced, and calmer. Let's get started. Let's start standing tall, feet anchoring onto the ground with legs hip distance apart and hands resting side by side. Take a full breath in, filling up the lungs with fresh air and energy and full breath out, calming the nervous system as you exhale. Deep breath in, inhaling, feeling those ribs stretch to the front and the back, side to the side. And as you exhale, relax the shoulders, relax the hips, letting go of any tension. One more time, full breath in, filling up the lungs with fresh air and energy. And exhale, feeling calm and center and reconnecting with your body. And close your eyes for a moment and gently scan your body from the very top of the head, flowing that attention steadily through the face, the neck and the shoulder, noticing how different parts of your body feels. Just noting without judgment, notice any areas of lightness or heaviness, stillness or restlessness, all the way down through the arms, the palms, the chest and the back, the stomach and the spine, hips. Just noting and drawing a picture of how your body feels right now at this point in time, all the way down through the thighs and the knees, calves, and the feet. Just notice those points of contact with your feet on the ground. Noticing the temperature of the room, being here and now, there's nowhere else you need to be. You've already arrived. And set your sacred intention for yourself here today. How do you wanna feel? What would you like to accomplish? And smile and open your eyes. All right, guys, so we're gonna start with rubbing our hands together and just creating some heat in our body, warming up the body, uplifting our mood, pressing those palms together, creating energy. And we'll start with a little bit of tapping. So we're just gonna start with tapping the top of the shoulder gently down through the arm. This is so good for you improving your circulation and blood flow. So we're just tapping gently going up and down the arm, and let's go to the back of the arm. So just tapping up and down, creating some warmth, awakening the body all the way down, and let's go to the other side. So we'll start from the top of the shoulder and gently tapping up and down, waking up the nervous system also. And this is also really good for your proprioception, which is basically where you are in space, which is really good and important for knowing for movement, for balance, right? And then we're gonna turn the palm up and go the other way. So going up and down, all these things that are important for our body as we move, as we do everyday activity for brain health, and it feels good too. So now we're gonna go down the thighs. So both hands go down the thighs and you can bend your knees here if you like, tapping all the way down through the bottom part of your leg and through the back part of your legs. So anchoring through the feet and bend your knees as much as you need as you go through the side of the thighs, through the calves. And it feels good, like you're waking up. <laughs> go ahead and tap on the glutes, going from side to center. Good, and let's just tap in the front of the hips and gently through the stomach and through the side and onto your back. So just lightly, nothing too heavy. And you can even make a fist and tap with a fist to your lower ribs and right below the ribs. And that might feel actually really good into your lower back. And you're all awake and ready. All right, bring the hands to your side and just swing the body side to side, letting go of any tension. Bring your hips with you. We're just here to feel good, release stress and tension from our mind, 
from our body and letting go. Imagine with each sway, you're letting go of anything that's not serving you today. Letting it just flow off your body. And one more each way. And bring yourself back to your center and reach one arm up towards the ceiling and circle that arm back, opening the chest, bring the other arm up and stretch it back. Inhale, lift, exhale, open. Notice how good that feels in your shoulders. Oftentimes we're sitting or in front of a computer or a phone for long periods of time. So this is a really good exercise to do anytime during the day to open up those shoulders, hunched posture. Let's go one more each way. Nice and easy, soft and smooth. Going into a roll down with your legs hip distance apart. Bend the knees just a little bit so we take away any pressure from our joints there. Nod your chin towards your chest and roll the spine down, vertebra by vertebra. Keeping a little bend on the knee, rolling down, all the way down onto the ground and stack your spine back up. Reach the hips forward towards your feet to bring it alignment over the knees and stack bone by bone all the way up to the sky. Good. I'm gonna keep going. I'm just turning sideways so you can get a better view. Imagine your body is against a wall, lengthening, and then you peel your head off that wall, then your neck, then your shoulder. You can bend your knees here if you'd like and roll down as much as you need. Do what serves you best. Perhaps you need to bend a little bit more and that's perfectly fine. And stack your spine back up, rolling up. Press the hips forward to bring that alignment right over the knees. Unwind the spine, lengthening the spine, crown to the sky, nod the chin to chest, and exhale, roll down, piece by piece, all the way down onto the ground, and hang here for a little bit. Bend your knees, and bring your hands down onto the ground. You're in a kneeling position, knees underneath the hips, and wrist right underneath the shoulders. Press the palm into the ground. We're going into a moving rest position from your sway your body away from me and bring it forward, shoulders over the wrist and sway the hips towards the other side, towards your toes and to your center. And now go ahead and tuck your toes under if this is um, uh, painful on your feet and then keep going that way again. Now this is a really good way of also stretching your feet. Often that's part of the body that gets tight and tense and we don't know until we're stretching, right? So we're gonna stretch, opening the body, lubricating the joint. And let's go one more this way, feeling light and loose, and let's go the other way, around and up. Go at the range of motion and the speed that works best for you today. Lower, open, around and in, you're doing great circulating the body, improving the circulation, blood flow, joint mobility with these movements. Let's do one more. And center. Go ahead and bring the knees forward and swing the legs forward towards the front of the mat. And straighten the legs, arms reach forward and roll down vertebra by vertebra all the way down onto the ground. Knees are hip distance apart and hands rest by your side. Bring your leg that's closest to me into tabletop and cross it over for figure four stretch. From here, sway the hips towards one side. So naturally your leg is gonna shift, bring the palms, face them up towards the ceiling, going into this hip stretch and spine stretch and glute stretch, depending on how your body's doing today. Just breathe here at your own pace, letting go of any tension. Feel your body open up a little bit more with each breath. And gently sway the, the legs back to center. Uncross your leg. Let's go to the other side for this twisted figure for a stretch. And sway the pelvis as the leg reaches up and over, feeling that length and opening through the back. Perhaps you feel it all the way all to your onto your shoulders, breathing in and out at your own pace. Shoulders relaxed, face relaxed. 
and bring the legs back to your center, uncross your leg, and bend the right knee in towards you, and straighten your left leg on the ground. So place your hand behind the thigh for a hamstring stretch. From here, straighten the leg up towards the ceiling, and bend the knee, lower it down. Press the thigh, back of the thigh in to your palm to stretch, flex the foot at the top, and lower one last time. Keeping the leg up here, flex, press the thigh into your palm. Now, if you're not able to reach your thigh in the back, you can also use a towel or a blanket and use that to help you get that really good opening and stretch for your body. Keep the leg up towards the ceiling, bring the hand down onto the ground, into a V, going into a leg circle, small circle in towards your center, out, around, and in. Circle in to the middle, around and up. Now, if you're not able to keep your legs straight, just go into a range of motion that works for you with the circle. Perhaps it's bent knee position like this, perhaps it's here. Let's do one more. Good, let's go the other way. So circling out, around and in. Shoulders relax, hips anchoring onto the ground as you're circling the leg in the joint. Really good exercise for your hip. And last one, go ahead and bend that knee in, hug it in, and straighten that leg on the ground. Let's go to the other side. So bending the other leg in, hand behind the thigh, bottom leg presses down, and flex the toe of the bottom leg as you reach the heel of that bottom leg up and away from the pelvis. That's already such a good stretch right there, right? Go ahead and straighten that top leg up and down. Let's add a flex. Press the hamstrings into your palm, and be mindful we're not clenching at the jawline or holding on to our shoulders there. This time we're gonna stay up there, flex, hold here for three, two, one. Now return your hands to your side and circle the leg in towards your center line and up, in, away, and in. Breathing at your natural pace, abdominals are drawing in and up. Option to turn the palm up towards the ceiling here. Last one this way. Going the other way, around and in. Out, around and in. Three, two, and one. Well done, go ahead and hug that leg in towards you. Straighten the leg on the mat. Bring your legs hip distance apart, and hands rest by your side for shoulder bridge prep. Prep, and from here, lift the pelvis up towards the ceiling. Your neck is long and roll the spine down, articulating the spine vertebra by vertebra by vertebra and pelvis back into neutral. Press the feet onto the ground and let's peel up this time, rolling the pelvis up, then your lower back, then your middle and upper, drawing that navel in and up, feeling the stretch through the front of the thigh. Reach your kneecaps away from the pelvis towards your toes and roll down, massaging the back, melting the tension away, restoring mobility and flexibility. And peel up, bone by bone, reaching up, hips to the sky, and unwind the spine down, bone by bone, all the way back into neutral. Go ahead and bend the knees in towards you and rock up to seated. Bring your knees behind you and hands underneath the shoulders. Knees are right underneath the hips. Set yourself up for success here. Go ahead and tuck your toes under and lift the hips up. You're in a straight line as you shift your hip back towards your heel into this upside down V position. From here, you're gonna go ahead and bend one knee in towards your elbow and then you switch pedaling here and switch. You might hear some snap, snap, Crackle and pop from my joints. And switch, switch. Shoulders are relaxed. And lengthening, stretching those calves. Often that's the part of the body that needs a little bit more stretch and release, more opening and unwinding. You're doing amazing. Let's do three, two, one. Well done. Go ahead, shift your body forward. Bring the shoulders over the wrist. Lower the knee down, straighten your feet, and stretch your upper back up, stretching the stomach, gazes forward for this modified swan. Tuck your toes under, lift the hips up towards the ceiling into this upside down V or teaser. Hold here, 
Swing the body forward, bring the shoulders over the wrist. Modification, you can be on your forearm here if you like. Lower the knee down, flatten your feet on top of the mat as you stretch your chest. Feel that length through the stomach, through the front of the chest. Gaze it forward and tuck your toes under. Lift your hips up into that V position, stretching the shoulders here. And shift your body forward, shoulders over the wrist. Lower your knee down, your knees down, flatten the feet and gaze forward. Shoulder blades gliding down your back, collarbone broad and wide. Breathe here, three, two, one. Tuck your toes under behind you and press back into a rest position for a stretch. Breathe here, deep breath in, full breath out, stretching the lower back, opening the lower back and side stretch over. So walk your hands over towards me. Your hips are gonna stay where they are. You're just stretching your ribs up and over to the side. Opening that side body there, unwinding any tension away. Then walk your body towards the other side away from me, feeling that stretch all the way down through the ribs, through the glutes. Allow the breath to help you open your body and walk your hands back to the center. Walk your hands back towards your knees and swing the legs forward in front of you. Knees are hip distance apart and place your arms behind you at an angle. Press the palms down as you lengthen the spine into that diagonal. Stay lifted out of your wrist. From here, sway both knees towards me, rotating the torso and bring it to your middle and sway the other way. Massaging the glutes and also stretching the chest at the same time. We wanna make sure we keep those shoulders out of the ears and swing side to side. This feels really good on the glutes, improving your circulation and also opening up those tight areas that are often common around the shoulders and the glutes and the hips. Stay long and lifted as you sway side to side. You're doing amazing. And bring it back to your center. Turn around and face me for a mermaid. From here, your legs are zigzagged, like so. Or you can even sit with your legs crossed if that feels better for you today. From here, bring the arms out side by side and reach your spine up and over to one side as you lower that bottom hand down. Stretch the upper arm up and over. Feel the lengthening through the spine, stretching those ribs away from the hips. And stack your spine back up, engaging those abdominal, aligning the spine into the middle. And switch to the other side. So one hand on the ankle and the other arm goes up and over. Eyes look forward, that shoulder at the bottom is relaxed and bring it back to your center and lower down. So bending that bottom hand down to help you stretch, reach over, twist and rotate the torso a little bit. Stay lifted on that bottom shoulder and then open that top arm slightly back and the rib rotates back as well. So you're getting that stretch all the way from the bottom to the top of your torso. Back to your center and stack your spine back up. One more counter stretch here, reach up and over. Breathe and open that arm down. Let's swing over to the other side. So if you're sitting with your legs crossed one way, you're gonna switch it so your legs are crossed the other way, right? Bring the arms, reach them long, press the hips down, seesaw down to one side, feeling that stretch along the spine, the ribs, bottom forearm presses down as you reach your spine up and over and rebuild that posture back upright. Abdominals drawing in and up. One hand by the ankle, the other arm reaches up and over. Breathe, let the shoulders relax. Relax. <laughs> and then back to your center. Seesaw down. Reach over, feeling that opening through the scapula and gently rotate the torso back, opening the chest, eyes up to the sky. And back to your center and stack the spine back up. Breathe and stretch. 
unwinding and opening your mind, your body. And stack the spine back up, lower the hands down, bend the knees. So you have a couple of options here for this spine twist. You can stay in this position or cross-legged position. Work with what you've got today, how you're feeling today. So I'm gonna make a little bit of a diamond, opening my legs forward and bring the hands to your side and twist and rotate to one side, exhale. Inhale, let's just make it a smooth movement. One movement, exhale, and inhale. Modification, you can bend your elbows if you have shoulder issues, and center. And exhale, exhale. Imagine you're getting taller as you rotate. So we're re-lengthening the spine, decompressing the spine, and bringing out any tightness or tension in our body, releasing stress, and restoring it with ease and freedom and exhale well done go ahead and lower the hands down turn around to the front of the mat knees are bent feet are flat place your hands behind your thighs and lift the feet up so this is a modified version of rolling like a ball from here bring your heels towards your hips or your glutes and then round the spine back so you can stay here if this is where you're starting today, and just balance here. Otherwise, we're gonna go into a full roll down. So imagine you're a ball, you keep that spine rounded, and roll down onto your shoulders and come right back up and balance. Massaging the back as you go up and down. Inhale, roll back, exhale to come up. Keep reaching the heels towards your glutes, keep that rounded spine. Shoulders are drawing down your back, and up and balance. Find a rhythm that works best for you today. And if you don't make it to the top, that's okay. Just do what works for you today. And up. Two more like that. Massaging and coming right back. Rebalancing the body. And up and lower the legs down. Well done. Let's go ahead and swing the legs back behind you. Up behind us and then come on to your kneeling position here the wrist underneath your shoulder toes tucked under knees underneath the hips and lift the hips up into that V position stretch your shoulders from here reach your right leg straight back behind you externally rotate that leg stretching the hips and bend the knee bring the knee towards your elbow and reach back we're gonna do Two more like that. Bend in, slow and steady, into almost like a plank position. Modification, you can be on your forearm, and in, hold, generating a little heat, and then swing back, and lower that leg down. Find that balance point, stretching the shoulders, and now take the other leg back, externally rotate that leg on the top, and gently glide the shoulders over the wrist as you bend the knee in towards the elbow and stretch back and pull in balance and back last one in press the palms down use all of your fingertips to help you balance and reach back and hold and lower that leg down breathe here in and out Lower the knees down, going into shoulder stretch. Bring the hands forward, your hips are over your kneecaps here. And you're gonna allow your body to stretch here. The hips are stretching, tailbone is reaching long into a diagonal as you reach your arms forward. So feel that stretch along the shoulders, breathe. Modification, you can bring your hands closer towards your upper body. So find a version that works for you today. Every day is different, right? Just breathe and melt into this stretch. Allow it to loosen and lighten up the muscles, the joints, the fascia. Walk your hands back towards underneath your shoulders and tuck your toes under, lift your hip up into this upside down teaser. Bend your knees in a little bit and walk your hands back towards your feet. Anchor your heel, keep a bent knee, 
on right and the left and stack your spine back up, bone by bone, all the way back up. Head is the last thing to come up. Come to the front of the mat. Legs are hip distance apart, four feet stretch. From here, lift all 10 toes off the ground, separating them and really think about widening. Create as much space as you can between the toes and you might have to look down. I have to look down and then relax. Lift all 10 toes off the ground and spread them wide. You might need to separate your fingers as well to do that. And relax. One more time, lift and separate. And now try to see if you can get your pinky toe down and the toe next to it and the toe next to it and the toe next to it until you go down onto your big toes. So you might need to look down or actually guide your feet to do that. So let's go ahead and lift everything up, widening and then Pinky toe, next toe, next toe, next toe, and the big toe. And you might even wanna go down with your hand to guide. Let's go ahead and lift. Sometimes we need to do that to get our feet to cooperate and improve our mobility. So going one foot at a time, one toe at a time. Let's do one more time. Lift those toes, lower your pinky toes, then the next, 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 and your big toe. All right, let's move on to our ankle. Go ahead and bend one knee in towards me and go ahead and press the top of that foot down onto the ground, stretching the front of the foot and also the ankle joint there. So we're just gonna hold there as we gently press down and then swaying side to side, making a little circle at that ankle joint. Going side to side, breathe, relax the shoulders. Good, and go ahead and bring that leg back up. Let's go to the other side, slight bend and then going into the stretching of the front of the foot, anchor through there, really pressing the pressure down to help you open the front of the foot. Often that's the part of the body gets super tight and we don't know until we're doing these kind of stretches. And relax. And now we're gonna stretch the ankle side to side. Going side to side, maintaining your balance. You're doing great, we're almost there. And side to side. Good, go ahead and bring the feet back. And just take a moment to notice if your feet feel different, perhaps a little bit more open, more relaxed. Perhaps one foot feels a little lighter than the other. All right, so let's go ahead and start with some arms raising up towards the ceiling. Imagine you're holding a big ball over you and we're gonna bring the ball over towards the side, around and open to the side. Going now, you can bend your knees if you like here and up. We're just gonna flow through, the, through some movement, stretching the upper body and the lower body, going up. Now you can make it a little bit faster as you go around and up. Now take it back if you can, feeling light and loose, opening and unwinding. Breathe deeply and bring it over. Lower the hands down and swing your body side to side. Noticing how open and light and calmer your body feels. And start to slow down your pace and rest the hands by your side. Close your eyes for a moment. Notice your feet planted on the ground. Notice your pelvis over your knees, shoulders relaxed right over the pelvis. Your spine is lengthening up energetically up towards the ceiling. And notice if there's any parts of your body that you still feel tightness or tension, and perhaps you can let go of that. Let it just soften, let it go. Let any tension just float off your body. And take a full breath in, bringing in energy, ease from top of your head to the bottom of your feet. And as you exhale, feeling strong, centered, and calm, and open your eyes. Congrats, you did it. You completed Unwind and Open for your muscles, joint, fascia, and your mind. Let me know how today's practice went for you. Doing an amazing job. Thank you for joining me today. Come back to this routine anytime you need a nice and easy routine to lift you up. 
follow this routine with a glass of water. Keep this great progress going and I'll see you back here very soon. Thanks for joining me today. If you like this video and want to see more classes like this, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and let me know how today's class went for you in the comment section below. See you soon again in the next video.